Praise the Lord. Shalom. Greetings to you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What a blessing to meet one another. Every day you have been watching the Word of God, which speaks to you, changes you, gives you positive energy and motivates you to face this world. What is happening around us? Really terrible, terrifies us, frightens us. But when we come to the presence of God, when we read the word of God, we'll, we will have the peace within us. Shall we read one verse today? That was John 16, 20. Truly, truly, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. My dear children of God, Jesus says, truly, truly, I tell you. What Jesus wants to say is that you will weep and lament. Does God want us to weep and lament? No. The world is making us weep and lament. At the same time, the world make other people, but the world will rejoice. Why the world will rejoice and why the world will make us sorrow and lament? Because we are the children of God. The world is controlled by Satan, controlled by the darkness, evil things. Since God has taken us out of this world, called us out of this darkness, called us his children, the world hates us. That is the reason. It is a fact that the world will make us weep and lament and the world will rejoice. Is that the end of the story? No. This is not the end of the story, but the Lord Jesus gives about the future. There he says, but. When he says, but, it's not the end. There is still the story is going on. But you, and means your sorrow will turn into joy. Amen. Your sorrow will turn into joy today. You may be sorrowful. You may be a loser. You may be having you know, so much of pain, going through sickness, lot of terrible, you know, all the people against you, persecuting you, making false accusations, everything. You are not a loser. Your sorrow will turn into joy. Do you believe? If you believe in this verse, yes, our Lord Jesus makes us sure that there is problem in the world. But that is not the end of our story. But the Lord says, your sorrow will turn into joy. Today I believe, those of you are watching this video, God is assuring you and he says to you, your sorrow will turn into joy. Wait patiently, wait patiently and pray to God, have faith, you will see the hand of God and he will change your sorrows into joy. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, thank you for this word. Thank you for your beautiful, positive, energetical word that you have spoke to us. Heavenly Father, yes Lord, we know. The world wants us lament and weep. The world will rejoice, but that is not the end of the story. Lord, as you have assured, our sorrow will turn into joy. Those of us today, Lord, remembering this word, whatever the sorrow, my dear Lord, sister, brother is going through, change your life. Let our sorrow turn into joy in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening to our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video. 
Have a blessed day. Shalom.